Hello and welcome to Access UTV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'd like to talk to you about how just making a choice can change your life. So how often have you looked at choosing something and wavered about it, not really chosen it, it didn't turn out because you didn't really choose it and then all the things that you had decided would show up if you chose it showed up have you ever considered what might have happened if you'd actually chosen it now what i'm talking about by actually choosing it versus wavering on whether or not you're choosing it um say you're standing at a buffet table and there's i mean on a buffet table there's usually a large choice of foods and you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll have this, and maybe I'll have that, and maybe I'll have this, and maybe, I'll... oh, maybe, I... well, I quite like that. I'm not sure about whether I'll have it or not. And as you're doing this, other people are coming up to the buffet table, and they're taking what they want, and going away and eating it, and, you know, your husband comes back up for seconds, and you still haven't even picked what you're having for your first. Finally, you go, okay, cool, I'm gonna have this. And you turn back to that plate, and it's empty it's all gone so all the things that you've decided would happen is it's happened it's like you can't have it so it what if you were to actually play with choosing but actually choosing not just oh I wonder what would happen if I chose this so actually choose it and say I'm having this I'm gonna go to this class. I'm gonna buy that car. I'm gonna, and, and then see what shows up. Because choice creates awareness. Now, if you decide, I'm gonna buy this car, and you get really excited, and you um, say you need finance, and you apply for the finance, and it doesn't come through, it gives you awareness that, okay, cool, I haven't been working long enough to qualify for finance or I am, don't have enough extra income over and above what they consider to be the right amount of money or they, it gives you the awareness of what is required to change for you to actually be able to have it but it also works along with relationships I'm choosing to have this car and then somebody goes oh well that's not a good idea because Uncle Bill was actually gonna give you his you go oh cool how's it get any better than that or um, oh that's not a good idea because I actually bought one of those and it died and I really don't recommend buying those because they're not very reliable or whatever it is you make a choice and the information you require will show up you know what a choice is actually only good for 10 seconds so say for example I am gonna go to this foundation class Michelle's holding foundation class in Whangarei in January I'm going to it and I live in Europe and okay cool I'm going to it what's required so then you play with what's required. You look at, okay, cool, I've chosen that. What are flights like? What's accommodation like? Um, how much money is the class? Who do I need to organize for babysitters? Who, how do I get the time off work? You know, all of those sorts of things you start, okay, cool. And, and you actually, because you've chosen it, you start actioning and you actually look at it. Instead of just going, oh, I'd like to choose it. But I'm sure my husband won't let me go. I'd like to choose it. But the flights are probably all booked out by now. Because, you know, it's only two weeks away. Yay! Two weeks ago, now I'm going to be in Whangarei. Yay! Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> do you get the difference between that? I have chosen it. Okay, cool. What's required to create that? What's required to have the money? What's required to get the time off? What's required to appease the gods or whatever it is that's required <laughs> to be created for you to actually have your choice? But when you haven't actually chosen it, when you're sitting there going, oh, that would be really nice, then you will come up with every excuse under the sun why it can't happen. 
Oh, my husband won't let me go. Oh, my boss won't let me go. Oh, I can't find enough money. Oh, when you choose it, you create it. Or you get the awareness of what actually is being created by that choice. So get the awareness right now of something you've been maybe choosing, maybe not. And actually choose it. Just for this 10 seconds. I'm having that. I am going on a cruise in Europe. I am buying a puppy. I am whatever it is that you have been mm, about. Actually choose it in this 10 seconds. Choose it. Get the energy of your life in five years time if you choose this. And now delete, 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 delete. <laughs> now in this 10 seconds, choose to not choose it no not having it no not getting a dog no not going on the cruise this year whatever it is and now get the energy of your life in five years time having not chosen it which one's more expensive more joyful more the life you desire to be living is it the chose it or is it the not chose it? Do you get how it's really that simple? Okay, delete, 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 delete on the not chose it. Really look at it. Which one was the most expensive? And would you be willing to choose that option? The light, the joy, the happiness. The one that's going to create the most for you in your life. Now, why do we say in five, what will your life be like in five years? Because it's far enough out to actually not be able to cognitively then this will happen and this will happen and this will happen and then in two weeks time I won't be able to pay the rent or whatever it is. Five years is a long enough period of time that you can actually get a real sense of what's going to happen without cognitively having the step-by-step -step process. If I was to say in six months time all the possibilities and changes and stuff that will get created by that choice maybe um, have not come to fruition in that six months but five years is it's a good amount of time okay now Gary Douglas says to use this five-year question what will my life be like in five years if I do what will my life be like in five years if I don't question for everything and Dr. Dane here, who's the co-founder of Access Consciousness with Gary Douglas, is um, he used to say, for everything except a stick of gum. And Gary said to him one day, well, why wouldn't you use it for a stick of gum? And Dane's like, because it's so pathetic, it's so measly, it's like, eh. And Gary's like, yeah, but you might choke on it and die. And Dane's like, good point. I'm starting to ask that for even a stick of gum. So would you be willing to play with this tool, ask these questions, and actually choose it? And remember, any choice is only good for 10 seconds. So actually choose it. Really get a sense of what your life will be like. Really get a sense, of, like quite often when we actually choose something, it's like, oh, and the excitement level gets going, and ee, or we choose it and we're like, oh no, oh, far out, I'm not, I shouldn't have chosen that and it gives you a really good sense and another tip if the whole five years time light and heavy thing isn't working for you flip a coin heads I go to foundation tails I don't go to foundation flip a coin when it lands the energy that comes up for you it landed in tails that means oh I'm not going to foundation oh. wow is that an awareness of actually what you truly desire? Lands on tails. Oh, not going to foundation. Okay, cool. Get on with it. Whereas if it lands on heads, yay, I'm going to foundation. Or, oh, okay, I'm going to foundation. Like, whichever shows up, it gives you a real good indication of what you really, 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 really desire to do. So there's a couple of different ways you can use this 
what I'm asking you to do is instead of sitting on the fence for your entire life, choose. Choose, 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 choose. If you choose this, what will your life be like in five years? If you don't choose this, what will your life be like in five years? And how much fun can you have in five years if you choose only the things that will be fun and expensive and joyful in five years time? Can you imagine? What would it be like? Wow! Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway guys, I adore you. Um, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I do have a foundation in Whangarei in two weeks time and you're more, more, more than welcome to come and play with us for those amazing four days. You do need to have done a bars class for that um, to be able to attend that and there are bars classes between now and then for you to attend. So, you know, if you're interested, get in touch, let me know. The other thing I'd love to tell you about, which is even closer, it's on the 2nd of January New Zealand time, so that's the 1st of January US Europe kind of time, um, is a Unleashing Your Creativity free webinar with me, Michelle, the amazing Mickey Art artist. Um, I have another YouTube channel um, and it's called Mickey Art, M-C-E Art. And um, we had a thousand subscribers on that channel a couple of weeks ago and I'd said once we had a thousand subscribers, I'll do a free Unleashing Your Creativity webinar. So I'm doing that and I'd love to invite you over to um, play on that as well. So the link is in the description. If you're watching this after January 2nd, then go to the link anyway, register, and you will receive the recordings of it. So how does it get any better than that? What else is possible, guys? If you were truly being you, what magic would you be creating? What choices would you be choosing? Cheers.